Did you know my friends headed out this morning? Not for the first time. But I'm headed out to give you a little more insight of Keshua. Cloudy day, the first day. I have had to start a fire. And so we're making sure the boilers and the homes are stocked with woods. Because they're calling for quite a bit of rain here. So I'm headed out just to check things, give you another brief view of the foods garden. And this is not a garden, all right? It is simply, we grow in these beds to supply the food we need for the dining hall and for our consumption. And so I must give of that. <clears throat> Boiler house is rolling near the wood, keeping that dining hall and my home and others and the facility here warm. And so look at these greens, I tell you my friends, I love these. I will take this and eat this. Two of these. I put everything in those. And this is just enough. Uh, to see how big the cabbage heads are getting. They're getting big. We got some that are much larger. And kale and broccoli and cauliflowers. Still eating the tomatoes and things like that. This, I, I tell you, if you want to grow a small cabbage, something like this one here, like this charmet. It is a wonderful, we have always had excellent results with that. Always, or the red jewel, something like that for red cabbage. So you see that one there, it's, it's ready to go. It will be when it fills up. Different type tomatoes and things like that. We're still eating. And basically you can eat all year, uh, not all year, but you can eat until there's a, f a freeze. And it doesn't look as though that we're going to get one f uh, freeze this year. You must understand to have a debilitating freeze. It's got to be, I would say, minimum 24 degrees and for a sustained period of time. And so I come and eat this fresh every day with every meal. These are some tremendous mustards here. I love them raw. I don't want them cooked. <clears throat> and this is our simple life. I want to uh, go back. you end it. <clears throat> I'll show you a few things, all right? Walking with my cane, I have to use it. On today's video, uh, maybe 30, 35 minutes, I will show you why I'm in this condition. Yabrook, you all, whoever you are, Learn to care for the nation. Learn to grow some foods. And I can express to you through experience what animals and things not to try to grow on a farm. It's one thing I will recommend. We, we raise quite a few sheep. We have had hundreds at the height. We had 200 sheep. We didn't have enough room for that. But I would take a sheep in the over a goat because goats are gonna give you trouble. If you try to raise, you figure you're going to need at least one acre per goat. 50 goats, you figure it out. You're going to need that kind of land. To raise 100 goats, you're going to need at least, this is one of our shower houses here and that we built. We didn't have the funds to make sure every house at that time had the proper facilities. And so this is one here. As I always say, this is the radio room. Over here, this is the tower, approved by FCC. And also here, we have another area for the young ones to come. We have decks here and all that. This is our tabernacle at the back. Do you see how we keep it warm? We heat with wood. That's how we heat. That's a big stove for our tabernacle. This is part of the school here and all of that. Come. And this is part of life. You're going to have graveyards. These are the graves here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And all of the people passed away from here except one. Bishop Bates was an old man. 
heard to me and he moved from Delaware to be with me to assist me. This is the Garden of Rest here. This is how we live. Simple. We bury our own. We don't have problems in this state. We don't have to embalm anything. They pass the day we tend to. We try to get them in the ground the next day. But if not, this is an area where we can have fellowship. And this is part of my destruction here. This thing, what we call a basketball goal. And this bas basketball court, full NBA blacktop. I play basketball every day in fellowship right here, patio and everything. Yeah. Out here we can fellowship. We got so many places we can fellowship. It's beautiful. And you see all these raised beds ahead. These are raised beds. We can come out, start a big fire here and sit. And we do that. The whole community, we gather. But these large raised beds here, Built them out of old railroad ties. That's basically, I got them for little of nothing. Well, that kind of stuff here and there. I tell you what, you know, I have a ton of fiberglass. You see the length of those raised beds there? They will have strawberries in the fall. That's what they will have. And in this area right here, I stopped the last time in that field there. I feel the drips coming now. That's where I stopped. This is one of our ponds. Now we can fish in, tree fell. I built that little deck to raise fish. I got the cage. If you look right there, see that gray thing by the trees? That's a cage. And I built that for that purpose because this rise, when we built the, this, we did not have the understanding of what it was going to take. We built these ponds for water, nothing else. Beautiful home right there on the pond. No one lives there. And these are beautiful beds here. Beautiful raised beds, beautiful raised beds. Just give you just a little view today and I'll show you why I'm in the condition I am. It's a very beautiful home there. Raised beds and everything. I feel the dripping of rain. And here we have two greenhouses. That's a regular greenhouse and that's a solo greenhouse on the back sides. This is how we live. And our funds go to sustain this. That's how it goes. This is going to be a short video because the rain is beginning to fall. I'm going to turn around. But this is the back view of our community. Greenhouse that we can grow anything in. As a matter of fact, I got it set up for greenhouse purpose this year, but I, I don't have the energy now to do it. I'll take you inside though. I'm planting tomatoes and cubes and all of that. You'd be surprised what you can do together if you do it collectively. And the amount of money you all could have It's the amount of money you could have in helping each other. This is one of the reasons I'm walking with this king. These steps, I will run them every Sunday uh, 50 times. This fellowship upstairs. Uh, let me do that. Let me take you upstairs. Because I want you to see this building here in, in the parameter view of our community. Achim, we built this. They just put the new deck in here as you see me traversing up this. I simply want to just show you. This is what we have here. This is our community. Beautiful green pastures, sheep, and the railings where the children can run and act silly and close that gate off. And this at one time was it was a second fellowship hall. We have services here during the feast days and things. But this is the beauty. You get a panorama, panorama view of everything here. 
you can see from here. You sit down with your children. And they haven't put the gate up, but they can run and pray. You see that? This is our community. Pecan trees. You see those homes, those buildings on the other side there? This, but I'll show you that. There were people and families live there. Our own butcher shop. We have a cane mill over there. We will buy our, our diesel and gas by the tens of thousands, thousands of gallons to save money. They will bring it by trucks. And this is the front portion of this building. Let me take you in. This used to be, we had pews and everything in here. You can see where they were on the floors here. You can see the where they were. And all of this beautiful, we come in here, children would plays and preach. See that? We built this out of wood that was thrown away. Man here, Caucasian, he would say, preach, I got all that wood. You want it? I would say, I will take it. And all of this is just surplus things. This is a beautiful, would not this make a beautiful cabin of a home? And then you can see here, on top of the tabernacle, I want it to be a 360 degree view of everything. The swimming pool and basketball courts and everything here. This is a beautiful way to live. I would not want to live this way if I had a million dollars. I will put it into the growth and the beauty of this place. And this is the backside. You see all the raised beds and where I just come from? The graves and everything right there. You can see that. So you can see all the way around, everything. We come out here, we, we play basketball and to the midnight hours. We have some ballers here too. The pond and all of those things. You can see everything. It's a very beautiful, attractive place. Look at the colors, they're so amazing. I don't like dead colors. I love beautiful colors. Vibrant and alive. And this is how we live. This is one of the places. It's a fellowship hall. We're going to remodel it. We're in the process of remodeling this. And to turn it into an oasis. We have all of our, us as Achim, we are skilled to do things like that. So we're into a center for our children, for them, for fellowship, and all of us. Teachings, and this would be more or less like a room where they can come, the young ones, and play chess and all those kinds of things or whatever. We're getting rain here. I may stop this video, but I show you the reason, the main reason why I'm in the condition I mean, this is one of them, but I'll show you the culprits, the true culprits, the culprits of my demise by my own ignorance. I have to be careful, but old man too. I tell you what, well, you come run this 50 times, you'll see. I was young and strong, I was a master. And then you come here and do some pull-ups. You do some, see that? See that? But this is my Achilles here, and this was, this place here. Ah, this is what got me in the condition I am in. All of this. I would do 10 miles if I didn't run the steps on Sunday on this. 10 miles. I would do 10 miles on this. And every kind of machinery we need, we have here. And this was the monster here. I get off of this, I've lost six, seven pounds. That's 10,000 steps. I would do 5,000 every day and 10,000 on the weekends. And this. This is not a little boy's house here in those days. 
This was not a little boy's house. This was a real man's house here. I told you I would, and, but this is my, this is, this is what really broke me down. This, you see that machine there? You put a thousand pounds on that and try it. We have radios that we commune with each other. And so you hear one selling one there, the laundry is ready. And this machine right here, I would do 1,000 pull downs with 90 pounds on that. 1,000. One day that, and then this bench, a thousand sit-ups with a medicine ball over there. And all of this, and these jewels here, there's nothing here that I could not handle, but these are the ones here. This was my domain and above. And we worked out the afternoon. This is a gym here. This is not something. This is a real gym. We built this. Used wood that was thrown away. And this right here, ah, you would have to be shown up tight to handle me on that. 200 plus pound bag. I would do 12, 15 rounds. Three minutes a round. Minimum 250 punches per round. I had to pick it that hard. And then I had to, I would rest for a minute and kick right back on it. But this is a wonderful place here to live. Why are you not doing it up? Because I'm hurting. But I still come in here and lift what I can. It's raining now. This is what we're working on now. This was a beautiful place here. We got everything we need. I'm gonna cut across here. Here's a little deck here. This is a fellowship here. They play all kinds of instruments, our young children, self-taught. Yusip Ya Jokin, they're all self-taught. Jokin Ya Ramiyas Ishaw, she is self-taught as well. So we all play self-teaching. No musical skill, but they play beautifully. If you listen and join us on Shabbat, we're working on this now. This is a place here. This is a place where we find. We're working on this. We're gonna take up this carpet here. We got new carpet in. Wonderful times in here. I did all of this here. All this wood and stuff was stuff that was thrown away. No stove, I don't know how long. I think I paid $50 for that. See all the music and instruments? But they have brand new, they have one of the, they have a they have beautiful uh, pianos now, the uh, synthesizers. We come in here and they do all kinds of school plays and everything. We have brand new instruments for all of them. This is the carpet we're going to lay, tear this up. All of this. And for our children, we have fun. They love it when we have gatherings. And most of this old carp, not most of it, forgive me, but all of this, I purchased it at a Habitat resale. All the furniture come from there. Woman said to me years ago, she said, you know furniture, because I picked out everything, sleeper here. And the children, this is the place where they come and spend, and spend the night after Shabbat doing tabernacle they will come so this is one of our key objectives here is to get this squared away and get this everything in place we're going to head out of here i'm going to make i'm going to make this video short i just want to give you just a little insight and as i said before the barber shop right here this is a full-fledged barber shop barber chairs and everything this is where we come to get our hair cut okay what kind of hair you got we can cut it. This is our community. So do you understand why I say my people may take offense that no one is going to come here 
and try to uh, conduct something that's see the barber shop right there we got barber chairs got two barbers we got three chairs where we can cut hair this is where I get my hair cut Akshimri does mine I'm going to head home because it's raining this is an ankle we did all this but the roof there's nothing now we're getting Wi-Fi if you if we're getting Wi-Fi in that's going to be you can see here country they're putting everything up you see where they drew they have drawn the lines and everything from the underground wire that's what we do this is a beautiful tabernacle here it's beautiful inside we built everything we did everything we built this I found these blocks these blocks are heavy I found them on um, Facebook when the process of doing the entrance making it beautiful the entrance of the school and we are Teshu Hebrew Academy the fighting the lions trees beautiful place I just want to give you another little video today I'm going to be doing a teaching on what is called anti-semitism and things that are gut of the beast we're going to find out that this verbiage and the language is false has no meaning it has been made up all of it you that call yourself hebrew israelite we are the real jews i'm not a jew i will not infringe upon them saying that i'm a jew because it would be a lie it would be a flat out lie for me to say i am a jew do you all get that i am not a jew i am not i know who i am i am of the zero of the siege of avraham i am we're going to close this for today i this is short ah it's going to be less than 30 minutes beautiful place always enjoy this place the plaza and come up in here enjoy the scenery and this is how we come into the plaza koi pond in the summer we sit and we fellowship usually when there's a fellowship the men we sit there in the chairs old rockers i purchased those rocking chairs from one of those kind of dollar stores i've had those 15 years never let rain hit them and that's where they sit on that port beautiful ten golden roof and i koi fish i don't know if you can see them now let me see i don't feed them this time of the year but i let, let me see ah uh, there they go they know the what i bring I don't give them much. At times, I will give them just a little bit. Well, I give them very little. It's about 30, 35 fish in there. We come to this place. We fellowship. My wood, I had to cover that this morning, and it is raining. And I'm going to get in the house. I am. Beautiful places to fellowship. You don't have to worry about no dope addict or woman walk around naked. Nothing on. That doesn't happen here. And I don't have no three or four wives either, or concubines. Can I tell you this, my friend? I saw my wife 50 years ago. I knew over 50 years. And I fell in love. First time falling in love in my life. I fell in love. I've loved no one else but her. Touch no woman that I could have been a, I'll let you fill in the blank. But this is what we have here. We have a Zachin, Ya, Ramea, and Ima Rafi's house. We go to a place called Restaurant Depot to purchase things. And we tend to purchase, we do. 
those items or products from there because we know that there is a sensitivity and those that uh, we tend to purchase and some of the hala especially when it comes to certain meats that we buy and also that which is kosher too we buy that we do because we understand the processes of those kinds of manufacturers they're going to meet the law of the Jews and we do buy and in that place that we go you have every kind of restaurant Tier Jews, Arabic, fat greasy shop, the monkey soup bar, everyone goes there to shop. And they sell to Broads uh, clientele. And you will see the Jews and that with their Kube and all of them. And so I do trust that. I, I really do. I trust that place. Because it's owned by Jews. And they make sure that the Jews, that's just factual. And I go there because of its quality of food. And the things that I, a tremendous quality of their food and care. And that's why I go. I go there to buy things that we, we can't put your cow every day. We could, but uh, once a month, but we could, but we're not going to do that. So there are things that we get, we need. My friends, I will say to you all... The riches of Hamashiach, Yabaruch, and may his riches, his Oshia, fill your heart this evening. In the mighty name of Yahshua, hallelujah, 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 Yabaruch.